Hi, welcome to this study. I just want to look at uh, the meaning of independent variable, dependent variable, mediative variable, moderative variable, and control variable using COVID-19 or coronavirus as a form of study. Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, if this is the first time you are coming here, I want to take time to subscribe for more video updates. We want to see the effect of COVID-19 or coronavirus on the death of a person. So what it means is that we are looking at this now. So what we are saying is that coronavirus leads to death. That's what this one is saying. Coronavirus leads to death. So if you have coronavirus, if this is the guy here, you are this person here, we are saying that if you have coronavirus, you will die. So therefore, this one now, for instance, is is the what the in independent variable. Why this one is a dependent variable? Why is this one the independent variable? Because it does not depend on death to exist. Coronavirus does not depend on anything to exist. It's just flying about, looking for who to devour. It's just looking for somebody to enter. It's airborne. Who have stated who? World Health Organization has stated that it's just roaming around the old place. That's why people are disaffected their community. You see, we are using hands, sanitizer. We have to wear nose mask to make sure that it does not come to you to block coronavirus. So it does not depend on anything. It's called what independent variable as far as this study is concerned, as far as, as far as this relationship is concerned. But this debt we are putting here now depends on coronavirus. So we are, what we are saying is that for this guy to say, okay, today is alive, tomorrow we say what is dead. So you need to have what? Coronavirus. So it means that this death depends on coronavirus to take place. So because it's depending on coronavirus to take place, therefore we call it what? The dependent variable. Because it's depending on something to exist in this study. But for this guy, it does not depend on anything for now in this study to exist. Hope you understand. Is it true that coronavirus leads to death? We've seen that some country, for instance, if they have 1,000 cases as of today, maybe only three people die. We found out like even 700 recovered. The remaining 297 are still in the hospital. What it means that if we have 700 people discharged from the hospital, only three died, it means that actually coronavirus does not lead to death. So there's a problem with this statement. So what we are saying is that this first statement that coronavirus leads to death, it can be somebody's study in, at PhD level or at master's level. You study this one. But another person will not come again another time. A different person say, no, I want to put something into this study. So what are you including into this study now? It will come like this. Let me clean this one. Another person will come like this and say, no, it's not possible. What only happened is that another framework studied by another person will say what? Coronavirus does not lead to death. Maybe after five months, somebody will study and find that, ah, maybe the first study, the first time it, it comes up in China, it was that it leads to death. It leads to death. This was what? A theory. Another person after one year or after three months comes up and says, no, it does not lead to death. What it leads to? It leads to what? Dry cough. It will say what coronavirus leads to dry cough. If this dry cough is not treated, it leads to what? Death. I will say, okay, let me put another thing inside here. Let's say dry cough here. I can say it leads to dry cough. It also leads to what? High temperature. This one, this one. So coronavirus will not lead to death. It will lead to something which will not lead to death if it's not treated. Meaning, this one now that is in between is called what? Mediative variable. Because it's mediated between corona and death. So coronavirus cannot automatically lead to death. What it leads to, it leads to this, and this now leads to this. So that in between the independent variable 
and the dependent variable is called what? Mediative variable. So this can be another person's study. It could be that you say, oh, no, 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 no. The only thing I want to study, I want to include in this theory is the dry cough. You understand? See, it's a dry cough. I want to, I want to, I don't want to write too much tenses in my, in my study. Dry cough. Another person say, no, I want to study what? Eye temperature. Coronavirus leads to eye temperature. Then eye temperature leads to what? Death. This is called what? Mediative variable. Okay? I haven't done that. Let's look at this. Ah, somebody will say, which world are you living? It's not possible. How ah, can you say it leads to death? Dry cough leads to death. No, it's not dry cough that leads to death. What happened is that coronavirus leads to pneumonia-like sickness. And pneumonia only leads to death. So this one is what? Independent variable. This one is dependent variable. These two are mediative variable. So another basic, I simply say, oh, I don't want to study too much just like this. What I'm just interested in studying is, is coronavirus leads to pneumonia, then pneumonia leads to death. Meaning this one now become what? The mediative variable. Means that coronavirus from the first theory is not correct. Does not lead to death. What leads to death is pneumonia. Okay, now where does moderative variable come in? Assume we have agreed as of today that these are the three things. Let's call this one C, coronavirus. Let's call this one pneumonia P. Let's call this one death D. Therefore, we are saying coronavirus C leads to pneumonia P and pneumonia leads to what? Death. Now, where is the what? Moderate variable. What are those things that will even not allow this guy to have to have pneumonia after catching coronavirus? One of the first things that will stop him is the what his body immune system. So it means that if his body immune system are very effective, they can stop this guy, even though he have you have coronavirus. It will not allow him to have pneumonia. So the body immune system will be fighting this. That is one. What other thing that can stop, even though you have you are infected with coronavirus, yet you don't have pneumonia? Another thing is, is the vaccine. So now the vaccine will come here in between these guys. So the body. Body, immune system, body immune system, or the vaccine is a moderate variable. How is it the moderate variable? What we're saying is that if your immune system is very high, let's remove the vaccine first. Let's remove the vaccine first. Let, uh, let's just look at only body immune system. If your body immune system is solid that can stop coronavirus, it means that it is moderate. So, if, for instance, your body immune system is very, very good, very, very high, that means this one, it will weaken this relationship. This relationship will be very tiny, will be very tiny. It cannot work. It will be broken relationship. Let me use that word. It will be broken relationship. Let me grab a, a eraser. It will be broken relationship. It will be very broken. To weaken it because your body immune system is what? Very high. But assume that your body immune system is like some other guy zone. Uh, it's, it's very low. Maybe it's, it's very, very low. So, this is, so it is strengthen this relationship. That means the likelihood of you having it will be very high. So that means it will not lead to this one. So this guy that is doing this work now is called what? Moderator or moderate variable. Because it's moderate the link between what? The independent variable at what? And this mediate variable. Even if you want to study these theories now, eh? listen very well. If you want to study these theories now, eh? assume you don't want to study this. Eh? This one means a coronavirus leads to um, 
this pneumonia. So I can call this one dependent variable because it depends on a coronavirus to exist. That means without coronavirus as of today or without code, we are not studying that one. Let's just assume pneumonia. Okay, this one leads to pneumonia. Let's not go into code. Let's say that pneumonia is a form of I code. Okay, so this one leads to this. So if you remove this one from the context, this one automatically is what dependent variable depending on this independent variable. But this guy, like the body immune system, is the moderating variable because it will strengthen this the relationship if it, if it, if it's very low. But if you are studying all this thing all together definitely this is what independent variable this is mediative variable between this and this and this uh, dependent variable this one is what moderative variable moderative first mediative variable do you understand this please put your comment below let me know what you think moderative variable but this okay we also introduce Another moderative variable here too. Where is that moderative variable we can introduce here? If you have pneumonia and you are rushed to an isolation center, what would they give to you to avoid this? They will give you what? Medicine? Or we see drug, right? Okay, good. They will give you medicine. What are they trying to do? They are trying to weaken the relationship between pneumonia and death. This medicine, which is drug, they are give it to you. If you are responding, it will cause this relationship what to break. So it's moderating this relationship. If the drug they are giving you is a raw drug, as at today many hospitals, I don't know, they are still giving you raw drug. That's why I see so many people are dying in, in, in America, dying in, in, in China, dying in Italy, dying in Spain. Because what the drug they are given is not effective. So those drugs, because they are not effective, these relationships, some of the drugs even what escalate this. So drug can prevent this. So drug, therefore, if you are given the right drug, this we have what a broken relationship. Okay, now assume there is no evil drug in your community. You will not still die. Coronavirus cannot kill. What can kill you? Is as they have said, they say if you have what underlying sickness, if you have some sickness in your body before, before you have this pneumonia caused by coronavirus. Because many people, as we, as of today, they are infected, but they are still alive. They, they are not even aware that they have the disease, no symptom. Why? Number one, because the, the body immune system is good, maybe there's no pneumonia. But after having pneumonia, what are those things after having pneumonia? What are those things that can cause death still that will not make you recover, even though they are giving you drug? One is what underlying sickness, as in you have cancer before now, as in you have your diabetes, as in you are diabetes patient. This one can strengthen the relationship between pneumonia and death, it will extend it, it will, it will kill this guy fast. So this one uh, is a moderate variable. This this cancer or diabetes. This our the line sickness. The, remember the first theory said that what coronavirus leads to death. Another person said no 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 no. Coronavirus leads to pneumonia. The pneumonia what leads to what death. So it's not only that. If this guy have some good immune system in his body. Uh, immune system, it will weaken this relationship. Another thing that can cause death here so easily, if there is cancer in his body, it's cancer. So it can it can it can threaten this relationship. But if you have taken the right drugs, the right drugs, the right drugs, it can weaken this relationship. So therefore, this one is independent variable. This one is dependent variable. This is mediative variable. This is moderative variable. This is moderative variable. What is control variable? See, I want 100 people that are affected and their age is 50 to 52 or to 55. What about age 1 to 49? What about age 56 to age 100? 
Why am I choosing only this one? That means this age I'm using now is going to be constant throughout. I'm going to force it because I don't want it because you are old. That's why you die. It will affect my result. All I just want to see is that I want to see the effect of coronavirus on pneumonia and pneumonia it will lead to death. That's what I want to see. I don't want it to be that, ah, see, your result is incomplete too. It's because the reason why I say complete, the reason why you, your result is not perfect is because your age range varies. So I want to make sure that the age will continue to be constant. I will force it to be constant. I will force it. I will monitor it to make sure that no any other age bracket comes in. Because I am making age to be constant, I don't want to do the research across different age range. This age of a team is called what? Control variable. Why is it so control variable? Because I'm controlling it. I'm controlling it. I'm forcing it. I'm making monitoring it to make sure that it will not come into my result. What about the location? Assume that you are, chi chi you are in China or you are do uh, this result was done in China. You remember that these people, they are type of food they eat without eat. Or I did this in Africa, Nigeria, my country. What if I, if I, if I have done this in Nigeria? And what we eat is different from there. Our body system sometimes is different. So now I was okay. This research is going to be done on this particular geography. Um, so all I'm doing is demography. I say this particular research is going to be done on 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 people from South America or people from uh, Europe because I'm choosing a particular region to do this thing now. That region I'm making constant. So if I see somebody from Africa coming in because I'm doing this work for European, I will not allow the person to come into this research. If I see somebody from India coming in, I will not allow. So what are you doing? I'm controlling what? The region that I want to use this uh, research on. Because I'm controlling the region, even region 2 is what? It's a control variable. Which other thing are you controlling now? Let's think. What is that thing that you think we can control that we affect our result. I don't want my result to be imperfect. I don't want my result to be so be subject to radical or because I did not consider some certain things.